I'm going to do a quick departure from showing how to generate AI video and instead show how not to generate one. My discounted pricing for Google's Ultra Plan was coming to an end and I had a lot of credits to burn before they expired. I had an idea that I knew would take a lot of iteration, I just didn't plan on how much. To be clear, I've made movies in VO using these same exact techniques and I've been pretty happy with the way they've turned out. There's more than one reality. And I like all of them. My inspiration, weirdly enough, was a Levi's ad from 2002 directed by a young Jonathan Glazer. He directed music videos for Radiohead and has since made movies like Sexy Beast, Under the Skin, and one of my recent favorites, Zone of Interest. Keep in mind, this is an ad from 2002. So I wanted to make a similar video, but instead I wanted to have the camera following behind them the whole time. A single uninterrupted take as they plow through walls, going into new rooms, new shops. They would be in an apartment and the whole race would start when they say, Ready? Ready. Oh. It was an absolute failure. I started by giving my prompt sidekick the idea. We did a little bit of back and forth until we finally got to this first prompt that I decided to try. All right, then I brought those prompts over to Google Flow. Now you'll notice that here it says VO2. I actually did these in VO3 fast mode and a couple I did in quality mode, but just yesterday they updated this to where you have portrait mode and landscape mode. So I don't know if something in flow got messed up, but these were all definitely done in VO3 fast mode because they have audio. VO2 doesn't have audio. Ready? Like it's the right idea, you know, like it, this is what I want. I just want them to actually break through the wall and then like that's the framing and everything is perfect ready ready so i attached a screenshot and just said hey the walls are already broken before they get to them it's like ah yes from the screenshot i see it clearly went through and it refined it updated the core snippet and i was like that's fine just give me the updated prompt ready ready What's funny about this one is like, it looks like they patched the wall already. Ready? Ready. And then I realized like, okay, you are trying to do too much for an eight second clip. So focus on the action from the start until the first smash. So I gave it the updates that I had made on my own. And it's like, oh, this is spot on for an eight second clip. You've distilled it beautifully. <laughs> it's like, you can tell we're on model 4.0 because it really is just really hyping me up. So this is good. They slam it into a wall, smash, plaster wood and dust explode outward at the exact moment of impact. We've got it. Let's do this. Ready? Ready. She kind of did like a little fall down there. Like what happens here? She falls down, but then she's like back up. Like she's down and then she comes back through the wall there. Kind of cool. Ready? Ready. Ready? Ready. Whenever it's a forward facing one, you know it's not gonna work. Like if they're running toward the camera, you know it's not gonna work. Ready? Ready. So I went back and said, okay, I think this is what worked. Is it approach the wall, they kick out a leg or lean a shoulder and to burst through the wall. I think giving a little bit of body motion to show that they're trying to break into the wall helps rather than just like running into a wall and through it, which is maybe not something the model is trained on. And it's like, yes, that absolutely nails it. <laughs> Thanks, ChatGPT. Ready? Ready. Ready. It's like he's knocks the wall down which creates a hole for them to run through. It's like, it's not even, he's not even breaking that wall. You know, like, you know what I mean? Like it's. 
Ready? Ready. Ready. I love this kick she does. This is the most relatable thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Ready? Ready. Ready. Yes. Boom. Yes. Now I need to get him through that window. So this is like a, this is like the best one so far, right? How do we get him to break through that window? Ready? Ready. Ready? Ready. One small thing. Look at her shadow. Watch this one. Both of their shadows on the wall. It's pretty good. Ready? Ready. <sighs> Ready? Ready. Ready? Ready. Turn around. If only it wasn't broken. Let's get him through that brick wall. Ready? Ready. Oh. This is what we want, though. Like, we don't want that. But we want them Ready? facing this way and turning around and running toward a wall. This one didn't generate audio. Got the little note audio generated. <laughs> Again, this is this is really I love her little leg kicks sometimes as she goes through like whoa whoa whoa. Ready? Ready. Oh. I like the wallpaper. Like it's little details like that that I think make it that's a detail I brought into it. I think that kind of thing helps it look a little bit nicer. Since I did a single, I think this is one that I did in quality mode. Ready? Ready. Ready? Ready. 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 Kind of not bad, you know? Like the little kick. Boom. Ready? Ready. Ready? Ready. Ready? Ready? Ready. Looks like he was trying to pull the wall off almost, you know, like you can kind of see the daylight coming through. Ready? Ready. Ready? Ready. I like how he, he just kind of disappears. What happens to him? She covers him and he's just gone. All right, then I was like, all right, what if we just, I don't want to rip off the original ad, but like, what if we did a profile view um, and then get them going and that way we can see the room that they're breaking into. Like maybe that's the missing piece of all of this. You can see the before and the after. I was a little more confident that this was gonna work. They're running in place kind of, it just looks funny. So now we're gonna take the one that was probably the best and we'll just try to extend it. 
And this was actually... <laughs> Do a little jumping jack. I like this, though. He's got this little jumps that he's got going on. So she kind of slips, slips, and then he's jumping and does like a weird, like he, he does that thing that I haven't seen in a while where he's legs on top and legs on bottom. He's just like a torso with legs on top and bottom. Then he lands. I tried a jump to version and that didn't really work out very well. I feel like you could maybe cut this together if they didn't stop. Like I think if they were just running and you actually did a jump to without them stopping, that might be interesting. All right, now let's just have them racing down the street. Ready? Ready. Ready. <laughs> this has got a good handheld feel to it. Good running form too for both of them. Ready? Ready? I do like that shot a lot. Not what I really wanted. There's no breaking through walls, but it's a good shot for running. Wanna race? Yeah, let's go. Wanna race? Yeah, let's go. I love this little pedestrian that's looking at them, like caught on camera. Like that's, that's a nice touch. I wanted to end with both of them running, so I, I wanted to bring her back in. So I hope you enjoyed this. The techniques that I used are how I typically do most of my movies. This one just didn't work out. And I think it's important to share the times that things don't work out. Do you have any ideas about what to try? I haven't given up on this idea yet. Someday I will make this movie happen. Thank you for watching. I also have a link in the description to movies and tutorials where I do things the right way. So check those out as well. You may not want the prompt sidekick that I use after watching this, but there is a link in the description. If you sign up for my newsletter, you can get that for free. All right, one more time, let's see that kick. <laughs>